Afternoon, everybody. How is everyone today? I got an email from a, a YouTube subscriber about a week ago now that said he wanted to send me something. Now, I was quite surprised because it's the first time that anybody that watches my videos has actually emailed me, let alone say, I want to send you something. Now in the email, he said there's a little letter underneath the postage sticker, which there is. A very nice letter. Can't show you the address. Now the person who sent me this has got his own channel. A very good channel. I quite enjoy watching it, to be honest. I always leave comments for it. Um, he's a lovely guy, or he seems a lovely guy. And his channel is Mark's Home and Garden. Now, if I can work out how to put a link to his channel in the descriptions below, I will. Um, in fact, I'll make it 100% effort to put a link to his channel. So you can pop over, have a look at his channel, um, give him a little like and a thumbs up, and perhaps try and boost his look, boost his subscribers up a little bit. I must admit, it, it, he has packed it very well. You can't beat gaffer tape for wrapping up boxes. We got some pots. Pots. Mark, you did really try your utmost to put these in, in the box so we couldn't get them out. Well, here we go. Six heavy duty seed cell trays. Now I've read about these and people say absolutely wonderful things about them. I've never actually tried them myself, um, but one thing I did actually like about them was the bigger holes in the bottom. Because you always have trouble getting the plants out when they're well rooted. So yeah, I'm well chuffed. I'm gonna I'm gonna make good use of these. Thank you very much, Mark. And like I say, pop over and have a look at his channel. Um, he does come up with some good content, which should entertain. Now, just quickly while we're in the greenhouse, I'm going to just give you a quick little look round just to show you what I've been doing the last couple of days. So, what have we been up to? As you can see, the beetroot's coming on well. Sowing some spinach in the back there. They just went in a couple of days ago, so there's nothing, nothing showing on them yet. Squash, Yuji Curry, <laughs> some coral rabbi, purple variety, some broccoli, Romanesca, and some sprouting broccoli, Lancer mixed. We put a few Swedes in as well to see, see what happens with them. Over here, I've tried something a little bit different. Now parsnips are normally put straight in the ground, but I've sown parsnips in the loo rolls. 
and the idea is that these guys soggy they decompose and once I know I've got all the germination I can put them straight in the ground brilliant down here we've got some flower seeds I haven't number 18 I haven't got the sheep with me with number 18 on but they'll need pricking out soon we've got some brassica seeds here that are coming on well they also need pricking out they'll be done in the next couple of days I've been pricking out the tomatoes they're, they're behind me over there I've still got some left in here to do um, I'm just waiting for them to get a bit bigger nothing on them at all now these are the second sowing of the Carolina Reaper pepper seeds now these are very very slow germinating and growing um, they're not doing very well for me at all but I'm going to leave them in they seem to be doing these two seem to be doing all right so with a bit of luck they may grow and not die some more tomatoes there again I've picked out some some rows there I've still got a couple of rows left in there to do down the bottom we've been potting on some self-seeded flowers now I'm not sure if these are hollyhocks or oh, I can't remember the name of them the other ones that grow really tall with the bell-shaped flowers not sure there was this all in one pot down the back of the back of the garden so I've split them all up and potted them up now it's getting near Easter soon so I think it's high time I'll get over and get these onions in the ground <laughs> they're pretty much all they're all romping away so yeah that's all good up on the top shelf these are the tomatoes I've done so far in these two rows or the, these two trays um, I've got some brassicas over in the trays there um, but one thing I do want to show you is the carrots in the in the bottles that I've done they're actually growing now I've kept the lids on, I haven't taken the lids off since I since I sowed the seed. Leave that there for a minute. Yeah, I think I've got one there that hasn't hasn't um, hasn't sprouted. But the others have all started to come up. Now I'll wait I'll wait until they get a bit bigger and then I'll take the weakest one out and leave the other one in. So yeah, that's about it quick little update in the greenhouse uh, and basically well primarily it was to uh, show you the prezi a very nice prezi that I got from uh, a YouTube subscriber so I'll catch up with you very very soon take care all